this, you know. That's for sure. No denying it. But it's just like just an acceptance. Well, I'm trying to be full example. Myself. My name is Mani Muhammad. My birthday is 3 9 1983. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I am a sex offender with no victim. Probably one of the few people that are. And check this out I have a mental health probation officer. Which is, she is, you know, just probation, you know, probation people in general are for to help people fix their lives, incorporate them back into society where they can be stable and function. Um, I can't even tell you the amount of case numbers that I have in the last year. I'll do a random number and say bare minimum 10. That's for sure. Which it is involved with mental health and drug and alcohol, which I ain't on neither, nor anything, no kind of drugs at all. Probation officer, who doesn't know that? But, and it's in all these case managers. The last one. The last two, one called the police on me for a welfare check, which is surrounding my house with guns. Actually, came to the door, with guns drawn. My girl had to put my baby in the window just to show them as a child in here. Well, this is insane. So it's ridiculous. And then I, the last one, Robin, African American lady. Actually, feel very comfortable with her. Like she understands. I don't know all the nine or whatever before her didn't at all. But I think she understands what is going on here. So, on top of that, actually on bond for something else. I have two mental health public defenders that are representing me at this very moment. So, last time I went to court. Tim just asked me the same question. You must be off your medicine. You must be off your medicine. Because I was extremely emotional. I um, just want to speak to the judge. Um, because I don't know what the hell is going on here. First of all, I see nobody is black. Beside Robin. First person that actually understood me from the beginning. Yeah. It's very strange. And then. Everybody that's surrounding me. To. For some reason, they're telling me that I need to hire another attorney to fix what the state did to me randomly that I had no involvement with. And they actually created a case on me and made me a sex offender with no victim at all. Actually, I didn't even break the law. Actually, they tampered with it just to try to make it look like I broke the law. But actually, it just shows you flat out when you look at my case, I didn't break the law at all. So I was 17. The girl was 12. They said that if she wasn't 12, she was 13 since everything was consensual. You didn't break any age barriers. We can't even charge you. Well, if you just look at my case right now, it actually says 37 year old man in here, 13 year old. My victim is 13. How did they even say 37 year old man if it happened in the year 2000? And 
How could that happen? How could I be that age at the year 2000 when I was 17? So, actually, the complete error on the end. He just look, literally look, just directly at that now. Very, very tell me I gotta go to. I have to go through a procedure. Please tell me that I'm stressed. Both of us the other day. Then look, man. 